What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and another DIY BMW vlog. So first off, I wanna apologize. We haven't posted in a while. My wife has put me to work. Take a look at this. Redid the floors. This is what I've been busy with. I redid the floors. <laughs> and once the f I did the floors, I had to redo the trim. If you look over here, I'll show you what the trim used to look like. So look at that, it's like three inch. And now we have, was that five and a quarter inch? So we did all the floors. And then of course I had to do the bathroom. This is custom work right here. Found this end table, made it into a vanity with that sink. Still need a mirror and some artwork. I'll leave that up to the wife to do. So we did the floor, what it used to look like. Let me take a peek in the laundry room right here. That is the old floor that used to be all through the kitchen. So now we got this wood look going on. And then the cabinets as well. I did these on the side here. I added some trim, give it more of a custom look. And I think that's all we did, right, Evan? Yeah. All right, so now to the video. We got some new lighting. Hope you guys like it. And we're filming with Evan's new iPhone 12. Look at that picture. Why are you getting my pajamas on? Uh, he look like he's got pajama pants on with his thick garage shirt. <laughs> All right, so what we're doing today, mirror caps. All right, so my mirrors that I've seen other friends that have the same 535 are a little different. I have sensors in the bottom of, my, of mine. So I've taken the top off before. I haven't removed this piece yet. So you're gonna be learning this as we go, just like me. Um, here's the new one at the bottom. They do not come with the holes, uh, drilled out on them. So we're going to have to figure out how to line it up and drill a hole for that sensor underneath the mirror. Another thing that we would like to announce is that the certified thick stickers are now live on the website. Keep in mind that we only have 40 of them. This is 40 of them right here. This is all we have. So if you do want one, make sure to hit that link in the description below and go get yourself one. So I got myself a little pry tool here. We've taken these off before because I attempted wrapping them. The top part isn't too hard to get off here. It's the bottom one that I think we're going to have some difficulties with. So you start, I start here in this corner and then start working towards the inside of the mirror. And then there's another clip over here. Once you get most of it off, there's a clip right there. Just push it in. Looks like it's screwed in. You have to take the, this mirror off. Yeah, we gotta take the mirror off. So the first thing that we will do is tilt the mirror all the way down. Going down? Yeah, it's going down. You wanna put the window down too. So if you have to put your hand to get that an angle. Is it glued or is it a... Uh... Oh, there it goes. No, it's just it, it some tabs. It's, so yeah, it just snaps. Yeah. So this is go. for your heated mirror, I'm guessing. There you go. So there's four. There's three in the mirror, and then there's one back here. Did you get the one? There's one more. <laughs> Can't there's one. Feet. There's one more hidden. Where? I think it's uh, come out. Nah, that's just a tilt the mirror. It's right here. So it's probably right behind it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking off the tilt uh, motor. And now we give us access. There's one more screw right back there. That doesn't seem it's behind this. This has to come off. This has to come off first. So we gotta take these two screws because this one right here mm -hmm. is behind this frame. All right, guys. So what we did you know, on this side, we removed one, two, three, four, five T10 screws. And then this whole piece should come out. And you removed that uh, little, the other T10 that was hidden in there too. And then there's it. another one. Yep, there's another T10 here. And there's one more right here. Once you remove this, there's two more. It looks like they need to be removed. I don't see any more. Do you? That one. This is for the sensor. No, this one right here. 
Oh yeah, yeah. That's holding on the right bottom. There and look, it looks like there's another one back here. So you're gonna have to take this metal piece out. Or no, you don't. You don't need to take it out. You just need I to can get, reach it. Yeah, okay. you can reach it from the inside. So let's go ahead and take this one out first. And I'm not even using a ratchet. I'm just doing it by hand. They're not very tight. And then this is the sensor underneath the mirror. Again, that one is not too tight. I'm unscrewing everything by hand. And then there's one more down in there. It should just come right out. There we go. I think you should just leave it like that. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to make another hole. All right, so this is the passenger side OEM one, the bottom part. And this is the driver side cap. So we can mark this, and we're gonna need the bottom side of the driver side to mark the passenger side. So I'm lining up the new cap, and then I'm just gonna tilt it. Here, you're gonna to have to mark it. And I'm gonna tilt it, put it there, mark that. Just do a circle. Yep, go all the way around the corners. Let's look at this from the head on. Open the garage here. That's one side. Oh yeah, I like it. What do you think? About to go trick or treating. Oh, the Range Rover. We forgot to, we got the roof wrapped from uh, Wild Wraps in Moncton, Maryland. They did the mirrors and we tinted the windshield and the two front mirror, we got 20% on the passenger and driver side, and we got 45% on the windshield. <clears throat> we don't have any tin on the windshield. <clears throat> well, we are in Mexico. So. Yeah, we live in Mexico, guys. We don't live in Maryland. <laughs> All right, guys, so I went ahead and put my mirror back together because these caps are not working. They are for the F10, uh, got them from eBay. The problem here is, see the side, this is the inside of the mirror how it curves in like this. You can see the inside of here. It leaves a two inch opening gap right here, which doesn't, it doesn't close to this frame here. So. So all that is open. All it, the internals of the mirror right here are open, yeah. is open and exposed. So these do not work. Luckily, it's not that hard to put this back together. Um, we did drill the holes, but these are useless. So I'm gonna look around, see if I see anything else online. If you guys can recommend anything, let me know if you've had success. Other people that I know that have an F10 don't have these sensors underneath the mirrors. I don't know if maybe they're designed differently than theirs, uh, but theirs are like 2011, 2012, their year. Mine's a 2013. Um, and these work for them. But again, they, they don't have the sensors underneath the mirror. So if you guys can recommend anything for my car, let me know, shoot me a link. So I'm kind of bummed out. So to get my spirits back, let's go order the boot mode stage two tune. Let's do it. All right, so I'm ordering it through Keys Motorsports. You go under here to engine. And here we are. Is it an N55 F chassis? 595. So at the car. So what you're gonna do is go put in your VIN over here on the right. Uh, make sure, let me go back here. You want to get the uh, map bundle. I'm gonna get that, it's $50 extra. And also the Ethernet cable, I'm gonna do that. You can get the Wi-Fi device if you want, it's $150. But I'm just gonna get the uh, $20 Enet cable and do it through my computer. So once you buy, they'll send you the software license activation key. The code is will be over here to the right, and then it gives you some reference guides how to install it and all that jazz. Um, and I just have to wait for the Enet cable to come in, and we'll be able to hook it up with a Stage Two tune. So now that we got that ordered, I am super excited. Can't wait to get that Enet cable so we can get it installed. And we'll do a DIY step-by-step -step install of the software and uh, how to get it loaded onto your laptop. Uh, all the stuff you have to do to get it activated. After we get installed, 
Sure, we're gonna go do a dyno, see what results we get, uh, hook it up to Beamer Link, see what kind of numbers we can get through that app as well. And just a test drive. Draggy. Use, use Draggy, do a zero to 60, see what kind of improvements we get there. So this video did help you out if you're in the process of getting mirror caps, and uh, I mean, this was a fail but at least you know what to expect if you have the mirrors like I have with the sensors underneath. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video, especially the next one coming up. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.